those of you who don't know it, the BC Epic is an iconic British Columbia race that's been going on since 2018, stretching from Merritt to Fernie over a thousand kilometers with about 11,000 meters of elevation gain. I hope you enjoy seeing this route through my eyes during the race. A little spoiler, you don't get to see it all, but you'll find out about that later. Well, here we go. Everything feels good. Good morning, everybody. The sun's up. And I'm just rolling through Merritt here to uh, get to the race start. Light breakfast. Typical pre-race nerves. You know, if you want to call it a race. Uh, fast tour, performance challenge, you know. But, uh, it's cool, but it's nice this morning. We're expecting some pretty hot temperatures. Uh, bike feels heavy as usual. Always feels heavy when you start out on one of these. So, have fun. Hope you enjoy this little bit of a suffer fest that I'll bring you, because I'm sure I will not be in a good mood at some point. <laughs> my game plan. Feels like I'm going slow, but we'll uh, see how that works out in the next 12, 24 hours. An hour and 15 in and climbing up the cold water road. It's hot, but it's gorgeous. Trying not to ride too hard and we'll See what the climb up to Kane Valley does to me. I think it's gonna hurt either way. Look who I bumped into up here on the trail is Bodie 
the adventure cat. Michelle finished the course in seven days, seven hours, and 41 minutes. Pretty impressive, all things considered. Yay! Technically, Bodie beat her by mere feet. Well, we're up in the Cane Creek Valley here and uh, enjoying these high plains and the, uh, the cattle guards. goodbye to Colmont because we're not stomping. We're just blowing through. No, 
after some hills. This has got some good little sharp hills. Been on this road many times. and uh, roll on on out. I don't really want to stop too long, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna hang left. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna jump okay, back well, onto the trail. Stop, uh, oh, you need to stop, yeah. So yeah. stop at the Petrocan and then just water. go right right by this brown church here. Uh -huh. And the trails just kind of you kind of come around the corner and the trail will be on your right. Perfect. perfect. So thanks a lot. Hey, no worries. Are you going to Penticton today? Uh, Penticton, yeah. And then I'll push on through and try to do an all nighter. Yeah. Because if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Chain loop 101. All right, we're climbing up out of Princeton. I'm probably gonna start slowing down now. Taking it easy, it's getting pretty hot. It's like 28 degrees now, but uh, we get to leave Princeton behind. Bye-bye, Princeton. We'll start climbing up the, the rail grade out of town. Let's go. a nice kind of two percent downgrade rip but I forgot how much sand is in here and how much it slows you down the ATVs have got whoops and ruts so you can't really get on the arrow bars much but I've been good the knee seems to be clearing itself up kind of and uh, just uh, dialed it back a little bit and Enjoying the afternoon sunshine, trying to stay in the, the shade of the, the trees here. We'll see how my afternoon goes. I probably won't be in Penticton now till I don't know, 7 or 8 at night. I was hoping it to be earlier, but I'm having fun. I'm trying not to, you know, kill myself.
12 hours on the bike, 7 o'clock at night. I'm kind of not as far as I wanted to, but I'm exactly where I need to be, I guess. Enjoying the weather, it's great. Going by the odd campsite, smelling hot dogs, and a couple people are cooking steak. Oh, steak. Mmm, steak. And beer. The trail's been really sandy and ugly. It's really hard, hard slogging. Finally on the downward slope here, but it's uh, not much faster, but feels better. But uh, I'm plugging away, enjoying. Big ring, soft pedaling, and just cruising. This is gorgeous. I passed by a little sign that said 30 kilometers an hour. Nope. What a nice way to roll down into Summerland. Whoa. Big mound of sand. Woo! Whoa, crazy other side. That was freaky. Big sand trap. Oh. oh, you got a little baby there. You got a little baby there. Hello. No, I want to get by. Can I get by? Come on. Good. There we go. Let me get by. There we go. Good girl. Can you smell that? <sighs> Wonderful sage. Oh, it smells so nice. It's quarter after 10, uh, loaded up with supplies again, and uh, I'm going to try and ride as long as I can ride this evening. We'll see how far I get. I'm gonna have dinner. Need to warm it up somehow. Good morning. It's four o'clock, and I'm kind of almost at the uh, rock gardens feeling reasonably good not too tired at all just been kind of moseying along 
trying not to ride too hard, but the trail's actually been kind of rough. Lots of potholes, a lot of big water puddles that are like, I think the biggest one I hit was probably close to 100 feet long and full width. I was just praying I wasn't gonna find any big rocks or holes in the middle of it somewhere. Sun will be up in uh, an hour and uh, things will start warming up. It was two degrees at Chute Lake, pretty chilly. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Note to self, if you want a nap, don't pick a park or the back of a playground or the back of a school on a sunny Sunday afternoon because I got about an hour and a half sleep and then was woken up by about 50 kids and 100 moms as there was festivities going on in town. But hey, back on the road, it's uh, 20 to 3 and it's bloody hot out. I just passed by two families out uh, doing the KBR with their kids. Pretty crazy. A couple, two couples, so two moms, two dads on fat bikes. And each one of them have got a chariot with a, a child in there. Everything from maybe about, oh, four down to two. So. Good luck to them. Pretty awesome childhood, I'd have to say. <laughs> One of my pet peeves about gates are people that put gates back on so tight that they're hard to get the chains out. You don't need them tight. You just need to stop a cow from opening the gate. Oh well. Hey, 
It's hot. so much fun but I'm having problems with my toenails they've gotten really sensitive over the night and they hurt like bejesus riding for 36 hours but I did have a one hour kind of little wee nap but I'm having problems with my toenails and I'm thinking what's aggravating it even more is getting on and off my bike for all these gates like this one right here it's really hard for me to clip into my pedals they've excruciated I'll get to midway and uh, have a sleep and see what's going on in the morning mosquitoes are going like crazy here My toe is already turning color and uh, and I can't stand up and put any weight on it. It takes me everything to try to clip in. So no point in um, destroying a complete toe and uh, you know, having to cut it off later. So thanks for following me and uh, we'll try this again another time. Later.